hello friends today in this tutorial i will be telling you that how to send email address inside uh, python application in twikinter gui library using a library which is smtp library how to send emails so let me just launch my application so python app.py so this is a graphical user interface you will see there are two fields this is the email address wherever you want to send your email and this is a message field so let me just write the email address to which I need to send the email and simple message so hello this is a test message so after this there is a send message button so if I click this button you will see login successful and now you can see that message sent and now if I open this email address you will see a email address has been received if I open this hello this is a test message so I am sending this email from my email address this is an email address one setting you need to make sure inside the email address wherever you are just sending a tick so just go to the options here manage your Google account and there is a one option that you need to configure go to the security option and then you need to turn on the this uh, less secure app access so default this will be off you need to turn on this access so just turn on the access and then you will be able to send your email address that's it now all the source code of this application is given in the video description just go to my blog post and here all the source code is embedded you can just copy paste it and now let me get started so the library that I am using here is SMTP library so this is a default library which comes in Python you need not have to install it so just create a app.py file inside your text editor and now we will first of all import twikinter from twikinter you need to import everything and then we will be importing SMTP library and now we, we will be just be initializing our app app is equal to tk and then we will be setting the geometry 500 width and 500 height after this we will also be setting the title of the window with the help of title method so this will be python email sending app so now we need to so here instead of from statement this needs to be import so import smtp library now i will be starting this application by using main loop function that's it and now if i run the application by executing python app.py you will see a window which is there 500 comma 500 and now we just need to add some options for the email address and for the message so first of all we will add a heading with the label module so we will assign a text to it so the text will be simply be python mail sending our app we will be having a background color of uh, yellow and a foreground color of black and the font will be is, is equal to 10 and the last option we need to assign the width and the height so width will be equal to uh, 500 and the height will be equal to uh, 3 now we need to pack we, we will be using the pack method in order to assign it in the center of the screen so if I launch this application once again you will see the heading in the center position so now we will be uh, having our input fields so first will be our address field so address field so here we will be entering the email address to which we need to send out the email so again this will be a label so the text will be simply uh, recipient address and next will be the email body field so here you will be providing the body of the message so the text will be equal to 
message simply and now we need to add these labels to the screen so we will be using the place method instead of pack so here we need to provide the x and the y coordinates so x will be 15 and y is equal to 70 and for the second label the x will remain constant 15 and the y will change to 140 so now if I refresh you will see two labels will be appearing on the screen e recipient address and message and now we need to declare the variables where it will be holding the address and the mail so address will be a string variable so string where and the body of the message will also be a email underscore body will also be a string so string where so after declaring these variables we need to have the input boxes so address entry so this will be an entry widget so entry so here we need to provide a variable which is text variable so this needs to be equal to the variable that we have declared for the address and same we need to do this for the body as email body as well but let me also provide the width to 30 and same we need to do this for the email body entry so let me call it email body entry so this will also be an entry and the text variable will be equal to the email underscore body and the width will be assigned to 30 and now if I refresh it application you will see there will be oh now we need to place it first of all in order to see the result so we will once again use the place method so where here we will be providing x is equal to 15 and y will be 100 and email body entry x will again remain 15 and y will change to 180 so if i refresh it you will see the input fields recipient address and the message and now what we want here is that we want to have a simple button on the screen so that when we click the button we need to send out the message so for this there is a button module so button we need to first of all pass the app instance and the text text is simply the label of the button so this will be send message and uh, the background color will be in this case will be gray and there is a command command is simply whenever you click the button you need to execute a function so this will be a function that we will execute which is send message and we need to assign the width of the button to 30 and the height as well so height will be equal to 2 that's it now we need to place the button so we will use button dot place and here we will provide x is equal to again 15 and y will change to 220 that's it so now if I refresh the application you will see a button so it is saying to us send message is not defined so we need to define this message or define this function so right here at the top which is send message so now in this function we need to de uh, declare some variables first is a sender underscore email so the email address wherever you will be sending out the email so this is my email let me declare it Sharma Gautam 1997 DOB so and you also need to provide the password so let me just provide the password as well so after the video I will change the password so don't ever use this password So this is the password and now after this we will be using a server variable and we will be using the SMTP library and inside this there is a method which is SMTP. So here inside this we need to first of all provide the SMTP of Gmail so SMTP.gmail.com and then the port number so which is 587. After configuring it now we need to uh, start the T 
TLS by using start TLS method. So this will start the configuration. Now we need to log in with the credentials that we have provided. So there is a login method inside this. So this takes the email address which is there inside the sender email and the sender password. So this will be the actual method which will be responsible for actually authenticating. And now after the authentication is successful, we will print out a message that is uh, login successful. After you authenticate it, now we will get the address that the user has typed. So address info, we will store this. So this will be equal to the address variable and we need to configure the get method. So this will actually get the address that the user has typed. And now in order to get the body of the message, we will store it inside this and email this is stored inside email underscore body dot get. So we are using these variables that we have declared here. You can see that. And in order to get the value that the user has typed, we are using the get method. So after you have got these values, we just need to send out the message. So there is a simple send email function which is there inside the send mail function which is there. So first of all, you need to pass the inside this sender underscore email uh, then the address where you need to pass this email address to and then the email body that's it email body underscore info so now after it uh, successfully uh, sends out the message we will uh, sim simply print out a message that uh, message sent and also we will clear out the values from the input boxes so we can do this by using the delete method so address entry delete and passing 0 comma end and same for the email body also email body entry 0 comma end that's it. So this is a whole Python script that we have written. Now we need to test it. So this is the uh, GUI application. So now if I test it, write my email address where we need to send out the email address and type out the message. So hello, this is a test message from mail. So click on the send message. So you will see that login successful, message sent and all the uh, input fields are cleared. And now if I check the email address to which I sent this em email. And now you will see that this email address has been successfully received. Hello, this is a test message from mail. So in this application, we have built this awesome looking uh, Python mail sending application from scratch using SMTP library. All the source code, code will be there in the video description. So just check the description and download it. And please like the video, subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video.